Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Now today what I wanna do is show you how you can transfer all of your data from your old Pixel or Android phone to your new Pixel 7. So this is my Pixel 7 Pro. I have had this set up, but as you can see, I don't have any of my apps or any of my data on this phone yet. This is brand new and it's completely fresh. And what I wanna do is transfer everything I have on my old phone to my new Pixel 7. Now, all you're gonna need to get this done is the USB-C to C cable that Google has provided for us in our box. So if you open this up, you'll see that you have this cable here. Pretty much this is everything you're gonna need to get this transferred over. So make sure you have this handy. Now, as far as what's gonna get transferred from your old phone to your new phone, well, you're gonna get everything from your apps to your app data, your music, your photos, your videos, all of your Google accounts, all of your contacts, your text messages, your call history, wallpapers, and all of your photo settings. As far as what won't get transferred, well, you're not gonna get things like anything that you've downloaded, like PDF files. Any photos or videos in your hidden folder will also not get transferred, and any applications that weren't downloaded from the Google Play Store will not get transferred. All right, guys, so now let's get started with the actual data transfer. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is if you have already gone through the initial setup wizard and you're on the home screen of your new phone where you want to transfer the data to, like I am here, you're actually gonna wanna factory reset this phone and go back to that initial setup wizard. So to do that, what we're gonna do is go into our phone's settings, go down to system, and then down here at the bottom, you see it says reset options. We're gonna tap on that. And we're gonna get a few options in here, but what we want is erase all data factory reset. Let's go ahead and hit this factory reset. You're gonna see that it tells you it's gonna erase everything from your phone. So we're gonna hit erase all data. It's gonna ask us for the pin. So we're gonna put that in. And then it's gonna ask us again if we are sure we wanna erase data. We're gonna tap on that again. Yes, erase all data. Now just give it a minute to erase everything. It's gonna power back on when it's ready and it'll take us back to the initial setup wizard. So we'll just give it a minute to do that. All right guys, so there you go. We have completely erased everything off of our phone and now we're back to the initial setup wizard. So to get started, we're just gonna hit get started. Now it's gonna ask us to insert our SIM. You can do this now. So there is a SIM ejector tool in this box. So you can take the SIM out of your old phone, put it in your new phone, or you can actually skip this and save it for later. For now, we're just gonna hit skip. And now it's gonna ask us to connect to Wi-Fi. So just let it find your Wi-Fi networks and go ahead and connect. And once you're connected to Wi-Fi, it's just going to get your phone ready for setup. And here you go, you can see it's asking us to copy apps and data. So at this point is when we want to copy all of our data from our old phone. If you don't want to copy, you can just hit don't copy and go through with the initial setup wizard all over again. But obviously for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So there you go, it's telling us to insert the cable into our old device. So we're gonna put this down, get our old phone unlocked, and then we're just going to plug these two into each other. All right guys, so you can see that it automatically can tell that we're trying to transfer all of our data. On here, it says copy data to your new device. We're gonna hit copy. It's gonna ask you to authenticate. So we'll just put our fingerprint in there. And I was gonna say copying all of your accounts. You can see on the new phone now, it says getting ready to copy. So it's just gathering all of the data, all of our contacts, photos, videos, everything that is gonna need to copy to our new phone. Now in here, you can go ahead and select what you want to copy to your new phone. If you don't want your old photos or videos or any of your apps, you can just go ahead and deselect these checkboxes and you can see it will reflect how much space is going to take up on your new phone. You can also get a lot more granular. So you can see I have 72 apps selected for transfer. If I actually tap into here, it will show me all the individual apps that I have ready to get transferred and I can go through these and just uncheck any specific apps that I don't want but I'm gonna leave everything by default hit OK and if you're happy with the settings you have here go ahead and hit copy so the next screen here is the Google services one and this is just going to ask to use your location allow scanning and to send diagnostics to Google so they can make improvements to their phone you can deselect these as well if you want but you should know that turning these off will hamper your phone's ability to offer you accurate GPS directions and the ability to scan for Wi-Fi networks and just really hamper your phone's ability to be useful. I actually leave these toggled on because I do want that functionality from my phone. But if you're somebody who doesn't really wanna share your location, you can go ahead and deselect that from here. You can also change this later in the settings, but for now, we're just gonna scroll down to the bottom and hit accept. Now this next screen is gonna ask you if you wanna back up your device with Google One. So this is their cloud storage. I don't wanna do this at this point. I'll just turn it on later. So I'm gonna hit not now. Now it's just gonna tell us about the limited warranty on this phone, so we're just gonna hit next. And now it's gonna ask us for a pin, so go ahead and create a pin that you're gonna to use to get into your phone. It does need to be four digits at the least. And on the next screen, it's gonna ask you to set up your fingerprint to unlock your phone. So if you do want a fingerprint to unlock your phone, just scroll down to the bottom, hit I agree, tap on start, and now start putting in your finger. So we're gonna go ahead and 
just place our thumb on this little pad here. Make sure you just wiggle your thumb around and kind of put it in different positions so that your phone has more data to work with. You just never know how you're gonna be holding your phone or how you're gonna place your thumb on here and you want it to unlock your phone as much as possible. So make sure you just move that around a bit. All right, our thumb is all set up. Now you can add another finger if you wanna use an index finger or your other thumb, just tap add another finger and it will ask you to scan all over again. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'll just do it later through the settings. So for now, we're just gonna hit next. And of course, new to the Pixel 7 is we finally get face unlock. So instead of just having to use our finger, we can use our face to open up our phone. But do keep in mind that the face unlock isn't as good as Face ID. There's no infrared or depth sensors and it won't work in the dark. So it's not the best, but it is something and I'm happy that we're getting a little bit more than we had before. It's nice to see Google making improvements. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, hit I agree. And I was gonna ask us to look into our phone to set this up. So we're gonna hit start, point this at my face says look up, look down, and there you go. We're all set up really quick and easy. Again, this is not the most secure face unlock, so just be wary of that. Um, but for now, we're just gonna hit done. And on this next screen, it's gonna ask us to continue our setup of a few more Google features. So we have Google Assistant, Google Pay, now playing. If you wanna set these up, you can go ahead and do them now, or again, you can do them in the settings later. I'm just gonna hit leave and get reminded later. It will actually prompt you to set this up um, later through your phone's settings, so you don't have to do it now. And then on this next screen, it says review additional apps. So when you're setting your phone up for the first time, if you're not doing a data transfer, there will actually be a lot of options here. These are all Google specific applications. This Google Podcasts one is the only one that I didn't install on my phone when I set up my Pixel 6 last year. So it's just asking me again if I want that. I do not, so we're gonna uncheck that and hit okay. And there you go, that was pretty much the entire setup wizard. So our phone is officially ready to go. Now we're just waiting for the rest of our data to finish copying. You can see we're almost at the end there. It says about one minute left. So we're gonna put our phone down and let that finish and come back when it's done. All right guys, there you go, the copy is now complete. That did take about another minute as it said, and you can see all the things that it copied. We got all these check boxes, so everything is good to go. All we gotta do now, hit done, it's gonna get our phone ready. Now our old phone is officially done. We don't need it anymore. We can hit close, disconnect the cable and put it to the side. And now let's just give our new phone a few minutes to get everything ready. All right, so this is the last step before our phone is ready for use. It's pretty much gonna tell you about swipe navigation. So if you've never used gestures on your phone and you still use those buttons down at the bottom, how do you suggest you go through this tutorial? It's gonna tell you how to use your phone with gestures. But if you already know how to do that, just go ahead and hit skip and it's gonna tell you that you're all set up. Swipe up to go home, so we're just gonna swipe up, and there you go, you can see our phone is all set up. And if we bring our old phone back here, you can see that when we go back to our home screen, it looks exactly the same as our old phone. Everything got copied over. You can see a lot of the apps are actually still installing, so it is gonna do that. Uh, all the apps that you transferred over from your old phone, they're gonna take a little while to uh, install, so give it like, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how many apps you have. But you can see that everything is pretty much there for you. Even all of these settings are all set up and you're pretty much good to go. So at this point, just wait it out a little bit until everything is done. And on your old phone, you can go ahead and factory reset and put it away or sell it or do whatever you need to do. You no longer need this. Everything is officially here on your new phone. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much everything you need to do to transfer data from your old phone to your new phone. And that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.